look directly in the camera or? Probably, yeah, right? So we are doing a YouTube video log called Sips and That. And basically the premise is we're going around various bars around Singapore, rating them, judging them on the ambience, on the drinks, on the service, on the general vibe of the place. Basically, it's myself and my very good friend, Stephen Stork. Well, this is the thing about James. He, he went to a public school. He thinks man them well sweet, bro. He's a prick. You, you, you gotta just accept that. He's a bang bang fan. The man them over there, he's a bang bang fan. You're holding on. But you know, he thinks he's quite street. He's not. Mate, how are you gonna tell me about slang? I mean, the slang you had at school was like, oh, I'm rogering Henry. This guy betrays himself as like a real bad man from the estate. His mum was a banker, okay? His mum was a banker. He grew up in a nice area in East London. Don't give me this chat. Like, oh, no, I'm from the street, bruv. Mate, you are literally a posh guy. But anyways, anyways, whatever. But basically, so what we've done, we've come to this place. You see over here, Neon Pigeon. It's a little bit dark, so it's cool graffiti on the wall. You definitely could have a little date here. Good, it's a good balance of girls to guys. If you're a single man, then you're going to be happy here. Nah, not really caught my eye. Um, there's a group of incredibly tall Dutch women. I'm a short bastard, so not really in my stratosphere. There's a lot of girls. Not only is it just there are girls there, they're very happy. They're very, in a, they're very loose. In terms of having a good time, having, being in a good space, I think I've had too many drinks. The great thing about this place and what I really enjoy is that you walk around there and then all of a sudden it erupts. You don't really get many other places where their signature is pouring sake into people's mouths. The drinks, they're all Japanese infused, they, you know, they've kind of got a bit of sake in them. Then what we did is we asked the bartender, you know, what are the two best cocktails that people like here? So there's one called the Kapani. So we had a Kapani. Uh, James was at a Kapani. Which is uh, it's rum, apple juice, mint, lemon juice, and some other liqueurs in it as well. Now this one, it came in the most unbelievable little Buddha. It was quite cold, it was smoking off the top of it, and it was filled with liquid nitrogen. You hear liquid nitrogen, and you imagine things getting frozen, you're thinking of Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Um, I mean, it's quite smoky, but cold and smoky. A bit like, you know, most girls' hearts out in Singapore, to be honest. Well, I think the drink was a little bit frozen. I had a bit of difficulty at the start trying to shove it in because it froze the whole cocktail. You know, I like my, my drinks cold, but not frozen. After well, after stabbing it for a little bit, it came out. Once we broke it down, it was very tasty. It had like a citrusy flavor. You could taste the fruit, you could taste the mint, you could taste. That drink has chemistry, number one, because there's nitrogen in there. But number two, for a guy and a girl. That is not a guy on guy drink. Out of, out of 10, I'd probably give it about a six, seven, because for me, it's a bit too fruity for me, you know, being. Well, it might be a guy on guy drink if you're a guy on guy guy. James is very natural. He really wanted us both to drink it at the same time. You know, he had the front, I had the back. I don't know how I didn't even know that worked. I wasn't very comfortable with that. Seven for me, but I think a lot of other people give it a higher grade. I don't like my drinks that fruity, but I think it was a good addition to the, to the palate. Now, drink number two was a tiered Negroni. I'm not going into the ingredients. Number one, because I can't remember them. And it comes out in this little goblet, so to speak. And Negroni's a very harsh and strong drink, and it stings the palate quite a lot. It's a bit ashy, yes. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot, a lot of smoke to it. Because it's rosemary-infused sake. James had like a thimble. He was coughing and spluttering. I thought he was having an asthma attack. He's like, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out is like, you know, you're a eunuch. You don't have anything. It just means you're lost. You are a smoker, but you kind of a bit of ash. It was embarrassing. I'd give it a six out of 10. To be fair, to be fair, the drink was very, very ashy. And for some people's palates, it's great. I, I rate it in terms of the intricacy and how it works pretty well. It keeps you going and keeps you going throughout the night. And that's the great thing about this place. It's a place to go, it's a place to start eating, it's a place to start drinking sort of slowly. You get more into it. You then go for the cocktails, and after that, the world is your oyster. So, Neil Pigeon, what are we going to give that? We'll give it out of 10? Eight. I'll give it eight. an eight. So, uh, you're so loose, you're so easy. This is the first one is seven. Mate, seven and, mate, and a half, mate, seven point five. Mate, the reason why I say eight. I want hold, to on, okay, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure. Look, there are certain things about it that aren't up to full scratch. But at the same time, the ambience inside, mm. the bartenders are great. You know you're going to have fun when you go there. I mean, it's not particularly expensive, which is good. I mean, the expense isn't particularly mad compared to most places in Singapore. The overall, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I think you should agree with me. You know what, man? I'm not going to just agree with another white guy just because, you know, he tells me to. Barack, seven, seven and a half. See you in the, See you in the next episode. Should we okay. get it together? Okay. Right. One, two, three. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, we do it. Okay. One, two, three. He's a wanker. Got All right, this is not bit. Channel 5. There's going to be a bit of racism. There's going to be a bit of sexism. It's going to Where's be a little... Pardon? Who's going to be racist? White guy. Why is that racist? But, no, you're here. So you're going to say something racist. It's jovial offence. It's like, not like... That's... You think it's funny. You think it's funny too. It's you like, laugh at my jokes. It's like when you call me a Coco Shanta. That's I've not literally cool. never called you a Coco Shunter. 
Mate, we're going to have to edit this shit so hard <laughs> to make sure that you don't offend someone. No, I never offend. Uh, I offend a few.